All right, now that we've completely closed the door on the high school football season, mm -hmm. we now make the transition in our Sports Overtime Rewind series to basketball season, and we start yes. in 1993. We were both two. Yes, I was like two and a half. Yeah. The 1993 Dilscombs Panthers went on a run to remember through the All-A State Tournament. Check it out in this week's Sports Overtime Rewind. The story of the 1993 Dilscombs Panthers is truly a tale of David versus Goliath, even if the setting is the All-A State Tournament. In 1993, the community of Jeff, Kentucky would be treated to one of the most emotional runs in the brief history of the Class A State Basketball Tournament. The focal point of the community was Dilscombs High School, and inside that school was a band of blue-collar athletes who bled green and black. Dills Combs defeated Hazard in the All-A Region Final to punch their ticket to the All-A State Tournament, their first appearance at a state tournament since 1954. The Panthers met up with the Panthers of the 15th Region, Pikeville, in the opening round and advanced on 58-51. to Most teams in the first round of the state tournament, everybody was a little nervous and so forth, so we didn't feel like, we felt like we were the better shooting team and if it came down to it, to an outside type game that we would win and we got a, I remember we got a lead early, maintained it until they come back and tied it up I mean, at the end of the third quarter, I can't remember exactly, but when they did, we scored like the next four or six points and, you know, maintained it from there out. That win set up a state quarterfinal showdown with Dills Combs pitted against the heavily favored Lexington Catholic Knights. Going into that game, no one gave us a shot at winning the game and there was really no pressure on us. I, I think the kids felt like, you know, we're, they weren't getting the respect that they deserved and they were going to go out and play loose, which we were able to do, and handle Lexington Catholic's pressure. Dills Combs again got off to a great start, getting a good lead, but back came Lex Calf and trim the lead down to one. With Dills Combs, it seemed a new hero would emerge nearly every night. And on this night, it would be Andy Combs, who hit the big shot when it was needed, propelling the Panthers into the semifinals, where they would beat Caverna 68-57. The Panthers met up with Fulton County in the championship game. Dills Combs brought the speed. The Pilots brought the size. Staying true to form, the Panthers jumped out to the quick lead, but their opponent whittled down the score, keeping it close. I wasn't used to playing against people that big, you know, if we're playing around here in the 14th region. And it, we were just like, we could not believe how big they were. Their legs were, in some cases, bigger than their players. You know, we were just in awe of it, but we, we became focused. Just because they were big, we could outrun them, we were quicker. So we used those uh, things to our, to our advantage. The second half was an exact replica of the first, with Dills Combs climbing to another 10-point lead. Only this time, the Pilots weathered the storm and tied the game at 62 apiece, sending it to overtime. In the overtime, Dills Combs never could capture the lead. That was until only seven seconds remained on the clock. Trent's going to drive it into the lane, shuffle shot up. It's good with seven seconds to go. Trent hits it, and Johnny calls time with five seconds to go. Here is how the championship game unfolded on WSGS Radio. Half court, five seconds to go. Dills Combs leading by one in overtime. And it comes to Calcutt, down to Warlick. Warlick loses the handle on it. It's loose, two seconds. Barnett shot at the horn, no good. Dills Combs with it. Dills Combs is the 1993 All-8 Classic State Champion with a 68-67 win over Fulton County. I think about it at least once a week because that's just one of those things in your life you always going to remember. And it's just a, a time in your life when you know everything was right. You didn't have any worries, anything like that going on in your life. And basically, I, I think I'll speak I'll probably on behalf of the whole team that they probably still, everyone I mean this day still at least think about that. 